Hey, welcome back. Pamela Jamson Teche has been appointed the new Managing Director of the Ghana Airports Company Limited, effective Friday, the 18th of February. Her appointment follows an emergency meeting at the Airport Company Board. Pamela Jamson Teche has over 25 years of experience in senior management, including nine years in the mining industry, eight, nine years in the manufacturing sector and five years in the past sector. She takes over from Ya Kwakwa, who submitted his resignation as the MD of the Ghana Airports Company Limited, effective the close of day today. But what must be her priority? Helping us discuss is Sean Mendes, aviation expert. Sean, we're grateful that I could join us. Day in and day out, you keep seeing changes in the Airport Company Limited, but of course, we do know that the vision continues to remain key. Now that we have a woman on board, she's the third female actually to head the Airport Company Limited. What in your consideration must be her priority? Thanks for having me, Charles. Yes, it's, uh, it's interesting to see a change in the management at the airport's company. Uh, you know, uh, th this particular new managing director doesn't have an experience in the aviation sector. Mm. So, uh, you know, she's not going to be able to come in with a list of technical priorities, so to speak. But I think where GACL, you know, it's, it's a very competent technically uh, as an organization, but where they have struggled for the last few years has been in terms of their strategic priorities. So I think in terms of where her priorities are, if I could list three areas, I think the first one is to rehabilitate the image of the company. Uh, you know, the uh, GSEL has been in the news for the last couple of years uh, for the wrong reasons. It's been controversy over, over the concession given to Frontiers Healthcare to run the COVID testing. There's been a recent controversy over McDan and their FBO. Uh, there's been issues with staff strikes and demands for management changes. So this is an opportunity for the new MD to, to, to have a clean slate, so to speak, and to rehabilitate the image of the airport's company uh, with the different stakeholders. So I think that would probably be one of the top priorities uh, for the incoming managing director. Interesting. But, you know, in your earlier submission, you quite mentioned the fact that she has little to no experience in aviation. Of course, this is a sector that really demands technical know-how to you know, pull the strings, tech, you know, uh, literally when it comes to managing the airport company. How is it really going to impact her delivery? Well, you know, uh, an airport is not something that one person can run. And the team below her is, is very competent. I've worked mm. extensively with them over the last 15 years or so, and uh, I have great confidence in them. Uh, what she needs to do, and I think this is a very important priority for them as well, is to ensure that they are ready for the rebound of air traffic in 2022. Mm. For the last two years, I think most of uh, companies in the aviation sector have been in survival mode. They've been just looking at how can we get through the pandemic. But as we've seen in 2021, domestic traffic in Ghana already rebounded to, well, to 100% effectively of 2019 levels. Uh, even international traffic crossed a million passengers for the first time since 2019. So, you know, it's, it's, it, it may not be back to normal, but it needs to start heading back to normal. And I think it may be actually a good thing to have an outsider there to, 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 to keep the focus away from just the survival and back to towards growth, towards managing an ongoing airport rather than just ensuring that the airport is still there uh, and, you know, financially solvent for the future. Mm, indeed, and we, we, we're going to see how you know she delivers as MD of the Airport Company Limited. We wish her all the best in her endeavor. But of course, Sean, just before you leave, you have cited the priorities that you want her to you know major in. But help us also understand some of the challenges that she's going to be confronted. Briefly. Well, I think the biggest challenge that uh, you know the manager of any government-related organization is the ability to, to ensure that the priorities of the organization are safeguarded uh, when put up against the political priorities of other stakeholders. Mm. Uh, you know, the airport's company is fully government-owned, but yet it is nominally independent. And therefore, it has to be able to, you know, to, to balance its own books. It must be able to generate its own revenues. So it's key then that, you know, when they start projects, like the projects they've started in Kumasi and Tamale and Sunyani, that they must be able to finish these projects off to be able to, to get the revenue back for the capital that they've expended on them. So to be able to just, you know, navigate these political waters and ensure that 
what is being done, where money is being spent, where priorities and resources are being allocated are in the best interest of the airport company and of the aviation sector in general. Mm. We'll see how that goes. Shomendas, grateful for your time once again. He's an aviation expert helping us understand and appreciate some priorities that the newly appointed MD of Airport Company Limited must consider as he takes office tomorrow.